Hey guys, this is your host Rifan Nasser and today in this video I want to show you that how you can add an e-stamp into a PDF. Uh, for example, I want to add this uh, logo into a PDF document which consists of 88 pages. I won't be individually stamping this e-stamp into the PDF document. However, I will be using some certain trick which will allow me to add this logo into the PDF file in a seamless manner and within a short period of time. So for example, this is the PDF file, the Facebook story, which I have downloaded as for sample purposes. Now, what I want to do is I want to add that company logo into this uh, PDF file at that specific uh, location. So as you can see that it comprises of 88 pages. And for that purpose, I want to add logo into this one. So for that purpose, I want to mention that this thing can only be done by using the Adobe Acrobat Pro version the free version doesn't have this feature so therefore you have to get a license of the Adobe Acrobat Pro version in order to do that so let's get started so first of all you have to go to all tools and you have to go to view more and click on add a stamp now here if you click on add stamp there isn't any stamp available so I want to add a custom stamp therefore I will click on custom stamp click on create I will go to browse and I will search for that particular logo that I want to add. As you can see, the particular logo is over here, new to. It's going to import it and you have to click on OK. You can name this thing any name you want. You can do, for example, I want the name to be stamp one and you have to click on the category as dynamic. Click on OK. Now the next step is to click on stamp. And if you click on stamp and you go to dynamic, you can see that the logo that you have added will pop up at the bottom you can click on the logo over here. If, now, if this identity setup pops up, this means that uh, Adobe Acrobat wants you to add certain uh, things into uh, this logo. This is kind of a metadata that if you want to identify this logo in the future, you can click on the logo and it's going to pop these things up. So for, for, for me, I don't need this one. And if you don't want to add it, that's up to you. You can uh, skip this one by clicking on cancel. Now you can place the complete logo on the place that you want. For example, I want to place the logo over here. If I click one time, it's going to stamp it. Now Adobe is giving me an option to stamp each and every page uh, by uh, scrolling down and placing it. However, I won't be doing that because it's like 88 pages. Therefore, I will use a simple JavaScript tool. Uh, for that, I will go to all tools over here and I will search for use in JavaScript, which is at the second last portion. Click over here and I will click on document JavaScript strings. Once I click over here, I can name the script anything I want click on Java, uh, script and I will click on add now this page will pop up now this is the place that you want have to add the JavaScript now this is the website that from where you will get the JavaScript I'll put the link in the description you can either download this file or you can copy it straight from here just you have to paste it into this box once it gets pasted into this box you have to click on OK click on close and now the magic will happen as it will uh, you know stamp 88 pages with an e-stamp on the specific location that you have just mentioned. This is one of the productive uh, features that you can do when you are working uh, in a corporate office. For confirmation, you can also close the uh, PDF and look, in, look into it. You can see over here. Just I want to mention that remember to save this thing uh, whenever you uh, stamp the PDF. As you can see that uh, 88 pages have been successfully e-stamped. So that's pretty much it and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. As always, peace out.